And tonight, another protest and rally will happen at Magnuson Park. Cairo 7's Ryan Sims is live there for us. And Ryan, this will remember Charlena Lyles, who was killed by Seattle police in 2017. And that is why we are at this park, Lindsay, because uh, Charlena Lyles was killed at an apartment just a few blocks away from uh, where we are, again, at Magnuson Park. Uh, the event doesn't get started until 7 o'clock, so there is nobody here yet. Uh, but I'm told that when this does happen, hundreds of people are expected to show up, and they're here really for two main reasons. First, they want to honor Charlena Lyles. They also say and hope to call for less funding and money for Seattle police. Making this case so sad was that Charlena Lyles was four months pregnant, was actually pregnant at the time of her death. She was also a mother of four with a history of mental issues. Three years ago this month, she called police to report a burglary at her apartment here in North Seattle. When officers showed up, they say that she was calm and peaceful at first, but then suffered a sudden mental breakdown. Within seconds, police said that she grabbed at least one kitchen knife and lunged at them. They said that they had no choice but to fire shots at her, killing her in the par in apartment. In the aftermath of that incident, family members sued the officers involved in that case, as well as the city of Seattle. They insisted police could have used non-lethal force, force to subdue Lyles and that they immediately had to use their guns instead. The lawsuit against the two white police officers we should mention was eventually dismissed and an overall inquest inquest into the shootings is ongoing. Now, other than remembering Lyles, organizers say that they do hope again uh, to call for uh, some of the funding for Seattle police to be taken away. They say they want that money to go towards mental health problems and com community health programs to help people in similar situations. Uh, this event is going to be happening at 7 o'clock tonight. Hundreds of people are expected to come here, and when that happens, we'll bring that to you live on Cairo 7. We are live at Magnuson Park tonight. Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News.